Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Well, we had a really nice day today. For a change, that yes. heat and humidity was rough this week. I personally liked it. I was ready for like one more week of summer because Me we too. didn't really have much of it. Mm -hmm. So now we're ready for maybe some cooler times. I'm yeah. ready for pumpkin spice, I think. Me too. The leaves are starting to change too I in know, some I spots. I know. I really noticed that today in the sun, sort of around the sandbar area in Milton. Mm. We got some color going on, so cooler temperatures will help accelerate that, but not so much the rainfall that we've got coming in, and that's coming in from the south. Right now we're dry on storm track, or you could see just a few clouds streaming on in from the south. Isolated storm just south of here near the Brattleboro area. That's the only one that's on the radar locally, but notice all this lightning off to the south. When you look at all the lightning strikes from Connecticut and Massachusetts out toward Pennsylvania, we've got about 276 lightning strikes in this red box, so some of that is moving North couldn't rule out a thunderstorm in southern Vermont later this evening. And the culprit is really this area of spin in the atmosphere just east of Nashville, Tennessee. You could see on the eastern side of it, we've got this southerly flow coming right up from Florida. That's bringing in a lot more moisture and a little bit more humidity as we go into late Sunday and Monday. So future cast shows a fairly dry night for most of us, but down in southern Vermont, like I said, in the next few hours, between 8, 9 o'clock and midnight, we could start to see some active weather in the form of thunderstorms moving into Bennington and Windham counties. Most of us are dry until tomorrow morning. So as you're waking up, could be some light to moderate showers over parts of northern New York and northern Vermont, and it will become steadier and heavier throughout the day on Sunday. So it certainly won't be raining the whole time as you see here on Sunday, but one or two of these cells here could produce torrential rainfall and some gusty winds. Can't rule out a rumble of thunder either with any of these heavier rain showers later Sunday. We still have the showers sticking around until after midnight as we go into Monday morning. And Monday's one of those days where it will be drier than Sunday, but you still need the rain gear handy because we'll have sort of these pop-up type showers and downpours Monday afternoon. So if you get caught under one of those, it would be a 5, 10, maybe 15 or 20 minute ordeal. Won't be raining the whole time on Monday and the coverage will be a lot less widespread on Monday as it was on Sunday. So when it comes to the humidity, we're feeling nice and comfortable in northern areas. Dew points have been in the upper 50s, which is a really nice change from the past several days we've had. But the humidity didn't really go away as we expected in far southern Vermont. Dew points are still in the 70s for Brattleboro. And that humidity starts to go down a little bit for north or for southern Vermont, I should say, tonight. But then it comes back tomorrow. So if you're feeling a little sticky in Springfield and Brattleboro, it briefly goes away tonight, but then makes an even farther northward push as we go into Sunday. So just about everybody starts to feel a little more mugginess as we go into Sunday, and that sort of sticks around as we go into Monday as well. We don't really get much relief from the humidity until later next week. So we're thinking late Thursday, potentially into Friday of next week is when we'll really start to feel those comfortable dew points coming back in. So as far as tomorrow goes, we've got temperatures in the upper 60s for northern New York. That'll probably be the cool coolest spot tomorrow with the steadiest rainfall and temps in the 60s. A little bit milder as you head east toward Vermont. We're thinking low to mid 70s here with those muggy conditions moving in. Low to mid 70s in southern Vermont, a little milder there. Everybody sees scattered showers and downpours throughout the day though. So here's your 10 day forecast. You could see Monday, uh, Sunday and Monday have the impact icon. We took it off for Tuesday because it should be a mostly dry day. We've got more rain potentially heavy moving in for Wednesday.